Hello and welcome to the interview here on France 24. Our guest today is Masoud Barzani, who is the president of the Kurdistan region of Iraq. Mr. President, thank you very much uh, for being with us. We're obviously going to talk about the very volatile situation in Iraq. Uh, several weeks ago, there was a lot of talk that Mosul would be retaken from the organization of the Islamic State, Daesh, but now Daesh has taken control of Ramadi and is on the move. How can you explain such a setback for the Iraqi forces? For us, ISIS is uh, losing ground on the Kurdish front. What happened in Ramadi in the Anbar region, what happened surprised me very much. But we are prepared to recover Mosul very quickly, to liberate it from ISIS. The city of Mosul mustn't wait for its liberation too long. We must accelerate things as quickly as possible. Because it reminds what happened in Ramadi seems to be the same thing that happened in Mosul. Suddenly the Iraqi forces disappeared. I mean, what is your assessment? You have fought many wars, you know about military stuff. Can you explain to us what you think really happened in Ramadi? For me, it was a great surprise what happened in the Anbar region. ISIS didn't have the strength to recover a city so close to Baghdad. An investigation must be carried out by the Iraqi army to find out what happened. I what about uh, ISIS? I mean, is it becoming more of a threat for your region, Kurdistan, now? I mean, obviously, them being in Mosul, you've said it many times, is a direct threat to Kurdistan. But the fact that they're extending both in Iraq and Syria, is, is it getting even more of a threat for you? ISIS, for us, represents a threat, and a threat for everybody. There's no doubt. They have won a few battles recently, but I'm sure that with time, ISIS will lose to the Peshmergas. Are, you mentioned ISIS is seizing weapons from the Iraqi army, from the Syrian army. Are they getting weapons from other countries? I mean, you're, everyone has been surprised by the heavy weaponry they have. From your assessment, are they getting weapons from abroad? Yes, they have recovered a lot of uh, weapons from Iraq and Syria. There are a lot of weapons from outside also. Who is giving them weapons from abroad? I don't know. You went to the United States recently and uh, you've been uh, wanting direct weapon deliveries from the United States. You now say you have guarantees that the central government in Baghdad will give you the weapons you're asking. Why are you so sure that it will happen? In the past, the central government has not delivered those weapons. Why suddenly are you saying that you're more confident that they will do so? Yes, I'd like the weapons to arrive directly to the Peshmergas. The important thing is to receive them quickly. I have to talk to about this with the United States. They have guaranteed that we will receive them quickly. Are you still disappointed uh, because the West is saying we're going to help the Kurds, we're going to help the Kurds, but uh, you said to me last time we met that the promises were not becoming reality, that you were not getting uh, enough weapons, enough sophisticated weapons. Is this still the case today for Kurdistan? Personally, I'd like to thank the coalition for the airstrikes. It was important to win certain battles and for the fighting on the ground. They have provided us with major support. But in truth, all the weapons that can protect the Peshmergas and enable us to win we ha still do not have them. Uh, you struck a deal, the Kurdistan region and the central government in Baghdad back in December, whereby you would send 505,000 barrels of oil per day in exchange for the central government giving you the share of the budget, the 17% Kurdistan is supposed to get. Is this happening? 
Yes, there has been an agreement, but it hasn't been fully applied. We hope that the agreement will be applied, but if not, there are other options. Me meaning sending oil abroad? There are other possibilities. So this begs the question, if the central government doesn't give you the money, how can you trust them to give you the weapons? Yes, the Americans have guaranteed that they will deliver weapons, but the problem exists between the central government and the regional government of Kurdistan. We'll see what happens. Just uh, more broadly, with what all, all that ISIS is uh, creating on the ground in Syria and Iraq, in a way, maybe not the way that you had envisioned, does this mean the end of Syria and Iraq as we know it today, that it's never going to be the same again? Uh, Undoubtedly, Syria and Iraq will not remain as before. Does this mean that as a result maybe of all this chaos, the independent Kurdistan that you've been campaigning for for so many years could happen in the next five years, let's say? Yes, it's quite possible. You are still wanting to push for the independence now, or you think the first priority is to defeat Daesh once and for all? Yes, no event can stop the march to independence, but our goal is the war against ISIS. And are you concerned that the strategy of the US, the Iraqi government to fight Daesh, is the wrong one? That all what we're seeing now proves that it's not working and that Daesh instead of being defeated, could become a reality for a long time. Yes. The Americans have never said we will send troops on the ground, but their airstrikes are so effective for us, and it is up to the regional forces to fight against ISIS. Europe and America must only help us. America and Europe cannot fight in Syria and in Iraq. It would not be logical. Would you want to see regional powers send boots on the ground, maybe in Iraq, to defeat ISIS, to help uh, the Iraqi army and maybe uh, avoid that militias will start fighting instead of the Iraqi army? It's not a problem for us. It's between Washington and Baghdad. For you, it, this is the solution for Arab countries to act militarily like maybe they're trying to do in Yemen, to do the same in Iraq to defeat ISIS. Each country must settle its uh, internal problems by settling our problems ourselves. ISIS has to be beaten, of course. If today Iraq settles its domestic problems, ISIS will disappear much more quickly. Last, last question. Uh, many people are saying Iran has never had as much influence and even as much military presence in Iraq. Are you concerned that Iran is more present than ever in Iraq and that, according uh, to some, it's playing a negative role? Yes, there is no doubt. Iran has a lot of influence on Iraq, more than any other regional country. Are you worried about that? It's quite clear, but we, in our regions, we do not accept other forces or influences. OK, President Barzani, thank you very much for, for answering our questions. Thank you for watching this interview here on France 24.